Tuesday. I was picking up my face and I regret it heavily. Let me just show this to some groups really quick. Just share it to some groups. Do, do, do. Sharing it all over, cause sharing is caring. Share it here. All right, all right, we got in a few spots. All right, cool, so hi Amanda, hi Lauren. So I'm going live a little earlier because I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. I'm hitting the third trimester, insomnia, can't sleep, nothing makes me work. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, nothing works, I'm exhausted, so I'm on that kick. So I was like, I'm gonna go live early and get to bed early because I'm exhausted. Plus there's so much to do and so much going on right now, I can't even handle it. So let me start putting on my primer and let me tell you what's going on. So, starting off with our Glorious Face Primer. Always super important, hi Beth, to use primer. And the reason why you wanna use it is if you want your makeup to last you all day, if you want it to um, settle, not settle in, if you want it to last all day, if you want it to not smudge on you, or if you want it to look perfect, hi Victoria, um, you definitely wanna use a primer. That's gonna help pre um, reduce um, Oh my god, I'm like blanking. <laughs> That's gonna reduce like the appearance of pores and stuff. My shower was good. My shower was really good. Um, super sweet, super nice. It was exactly what I wanted. So my best friend, she does like party planning and all that, and she's so good at it. She just opened up like a party planning uh team with one of her other friends, and they do such an amazing job, it's insane. Yeah, dude, third trimester, it's insomnia, and you don't want to sleep, <laughs> or you can't sleep. So, and I'm just so uncomfortable. I'm 34 weeks tomorrow. I'm just so uncomfortable. Like, nothing gets me happy. So, it's pretty rough right now. But it's the home stretch, so hopefully it's over soon. Me, hopefully. All right. So, what else are we talking about? So yeah, so my shower was really good. It was really great. They did a fantastic job. I loved it. So I was really happy with it. Um, so yeah. So I just put on my primer and my eye primer. And what that's also going to do is a lot of people tell me, oh, I have sweaty eyelids or everything creases, this and that. The reason why it's going to happen is everything's going to crease. I'm just going to turn this a little bit. Everything's going to crease because you're not using a primer. The primer helps prevent that creasing and the fade out from your eyeshadow, okay? So if you want it to stay, you definitely want to use a primer. No, I didn't get everything. Um, there's still a bunch missing. Leo and I went through everything, but we had a bunch of family who couldn't come, um, some friends who couldn't come, so we know that it's in the future we'll be getting it. So we're trying to wait, but I'm also like, there's certain things where I'm like, I need to get this now. <laughs> So there's a few things where I'm like, yeah, I need it. Excuse me, like we need another car seat. We only got one car seat and we need another one. So that's part of it. All right, so I'm gonna start off by doing some concealer in spots and we're gonna do the eye makeup first. That's been my jam lately, doing the eye makeup first. So we're putting on Scarlet Concealer and on this lovely bump that I was picking at before I went live. But we registered with um, Target and Amazon. So we did those two. No, we need another car seat car seat. Because we got the stroller that has the car seat, like, that clicks into it. But we need an actual second car seat. Because, like, that one also came with a base, which was good. But we just need, we definitely need that. So we got like one of those strollers that has the car seat connect to it, um, transfer to it. So you just pop it out, pop it in, all that fun stuff. But um, that's only one seat and we need it for Leo or me, whatever one. So one of them is going in my car, one's going in his car. Hi Kelly. So it really just depends. We haven't decided yet. But we registered for actually like three car seats because <laughs> I keep telling my mom she needs one and she's like, no, I'll just take it out of one of your cars. And I'm waiting for the day where she's going to be like, oh my God, I need to pick up the baby, blah, blah. And she can't because she was too stubborn to get a car seat of her own. So I know that day is coming. So we, I was like, I think we need a third, but she's telling me no. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Why am I like funny color? There we go. All right. That's a little better. 
All right, so we have some concealer on, reducing redness, and we're gonna do the eye makeup first, okay? So we wanna do the eye makeup first because if we're gonna do a heavy look, you don't want any fallout. Hi, Jamila. I hope I said your name right. If I didn't, please tell me. <laughs> I always like to say people's names right, so please tell me if I didn't say your name right. So we're gonna start off with eye makeup, and I'm gonna do the nude shadows today. So you guys know my favorite palette is the, um, the eight palettes, the customizable ones. This one's my favorite, the rose gold one that I made. But we're gonna do the nude palette today. And play around with those. Oh good, I'm glad I said it right, thank you. So we're gonna play around with the nude palette today. Please bear with me, a lot of these names I don't know because a lot of them are brand new still to me and I don't use them a lot. So we're gonna play around. <laughs> um, my biggest regret was not putting the stickers on them because I was like, oh, I'm gonna know what it is. And um, no, I'm just, I don't remember any of them. <laughs> so let me see, here we go. The infant carrier, which is the one. Oh, nice. Yeah, we can't, we need, um, we definitely need two because we know there's gonna be a day where like he's gonna need to get her or whatever. So we definitely need two of them. So we're gonna start off with I'm gonna guess a lot of these colors, okay? I'm gonna guess. So, let's create a really nice copper smoky eye. So we're gonna, starting off with this color here. And I am gonna go through and I will tell you guys what colors they are. I just wish I could remember, but I don't. I'm terrible. Listen, it's like mom pregnancy brain up in here. You know. I believe this one is laid back. So we're starting off with laid back. I get what you mean though with like the multiple bases so then like if she's being dropped off in a car seat to daycare like that at least there's a base and it gets clicked in. But we definitely just want two to be safe. Plus I'm not sure if my sister-in-law kept her infant one or not from when Mia was was born. So I have to see if she did because then maybe like that'll take care of um, my in-laws. Hi Brittany, so maybe that'll take care of my in-laws though. I'm not sure, I haven't asked that question yet. <laughs> All right, so then next up, we're going to do a little bit of this cocoa brown color here. I'm just gonna describe the colors. And we're doing it from the outer V and blending into the crease And starting to create that smoky eye. Just like that. So when you're creating a smoky, you work from the outer V and you go into the crease slowly. But we got like, we got the pack and play we wanted. We got, we got the stroller. Um, we got the bouncer. We got, oh my God, there's so much stuff. A lot of the outfits we asked for, a good amount of diapers, which is good because we did a diaper raffle. Good amount of diapers. Um, we got bathtubs, which was really important. So, but there's still a few things we're missing. Like we didn't get a baby monitor, so we know we have to get a baby monitor. Um, we asked for a lot of books, so we had that, which was good. All right, then we're just gonna fade that out a little bit. So we're starting to create that smoky eye look. Then we're gonna do, I'm trying to decide what I wanna do next. I wanna create a shimmer, so. But yeah, so there's still a lot that we have to get and I think like, I know I have a lot of family from out of town who are sending money. So I was like, all right, so we'll just get it with that. Um. So that'll work out really well when it's time. But I think I'm gonna finish up my shopping at Bye Bye Baby. Because when my mom and I went there to get the crib, it was literally like walking into a candy store. I was like, oh my god. The amount of stuff they had was insane. In freaking insane. So I was like, I need this and this and this. So definitely going to go to Bye Bye B. Alright, so now we're going to do this nice bright copper here. This is a shimmer. Tapping off any excess and going from, again from the outer V. If you're creating a shimmer smoky eye, 
always try to start off with a matte colored base so no shimmer to it because it's going to help create the make the color pop more. So instead of it just being shimmer, it's going to help the color pop much more, which is something you want if you want a shimmery smoky eye. And again, outer V into the crease. I had someone ask me one time, like, why so many colors, like, um, why so many layers of stuff? And that what really is, is you're building up a color. You're building up the whole look. So if you're using multiple colors, it's going to create a nicer, um, it's going to create a nicer blend. It's going to create a nicer look. So you want to build up the color and build up the look. So it's not just a, oh, one color and you're good. It, depending on the eye look you're going for too, it's a, it's a, it's several colors. You just have to like layer them just right. It's like painting, you know, when you paint, you're not just using to create a sunset like orange, red, and yellow. You're using a bunch of other colors too to get that look just right. All right, and then we're gonna do a little bit of this other um, bronzy tone here. And again, outer V. But more on the outer V, less into the crease. And always tapping off any excess. All right, so after that, now you wanna create the shimmer on the inside. So we're gonna do a little bit of this gold tone here. I so wish I remembered color names. <laughs> and start blending from the inner corner into the center of the eye. Hi, Julie. So again, from the inner corner into the center of the eye. And really blending it in. I don't play with browns a lot. I really should. So I talk about how like if you want your eye color to pop, you should play with colors opposite your eye color on the color wheel. So if you have blue eyes, play with browns a lot. Hi, Caitlin. If you have green eyes, purples. Um, reds are also great for both green and blue eyes. If you have brown eyes, you want to play more with um, the blues and the purples. So you want to play around with that because a contrasting color is going to make your eye color pop more. Okay? All right, so... I'm not going to do any eyeliner. We're going to stop right there because I like how this looks. <laughs> so now we're going to move into foundation. And I'm actually going to use our liquid foundation because I don't use this enough and I really should. So I'm using our liquid foundation in Organza. This is liquid gold, okay? So if you've never used it before, a couple drops goes a long way. So we're going to do one, two, three, four drops. Dot all over. And then you're going to buff it in in circular motions. This is also cleaning up any fallout we might have had from doing our foundation or our eyeshadow. And it smells so good. So buffing it in to create the all over base down your neck just a little bit. You still want to blend on your neck. Hi Chantel. To create the coverage you want if you want a little bit more it's okay to add more it's easier to add more than it is to take away so I'm gonna add like two more tiny baby drops two more tiny baby drops and we're good and buffing it in if you're not sure what color foundation you are let me know shoot me a message or comment below say match me below and I can match you to our foundation shades. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Hi Heidi. So just say match me below if you want a color match to find out what your foundation shade is. So here's what's great about the liquid foundation. It starts out as a liquid, but then it dries to a powdery finish so it doesn't feel heavy. This is a great all year foundation. You can use it really well in the winter if you have... Um, if you're more on the, um, oily spectrum for your skin, you can use it in the winter because it gives you that nice soft finish and it doesn't feel like it's going to wear off. Um, in the summer it's great because a little goes a long way and you can get that nice light coverage. 
Um, in the spring, it's really good because as you're transi transitioning from your winter to your summer makeup, it's a big change. Springtime is like the toughest during makeup because you don't know how your skin's going to be. Your skin just went from being super chapped for months. And now it's back to like, okay, now I have to get used to all these. So just remember that. So we're going to do our brows really quick. So I'm using our brow pencil. I'm using the spool, spool, blah, blah, spoolie end and brushing them into place. So they're nice and neat. And then I'm using the color medium. So a little bit of this. And so here's the thing, when you're drawing your brows on, don't be heavy handed, start light. You can always add on. Again, it's all about layers. So don't start off heavy. So starting at the bottom and then small little hair leg strokes upward. Okay. And just slowly small little hair leg strokes going upward. And we're starting to create the brow. And again, you're, I'm going super light. Like I'm barely here. I'll show you. I'm not pressing that hard. Hi, Sierra. I'm not pressing that hard. I'm pressing just hard enough to start filling in. If I went super hard, I'm going to have those blocky brows and it's not going to be cute. <laughs> so you always want to go a little bit and follow the path of the hair. So again, super light, short little hair like strokes. especially in the front here. Super light. That way you're not getting super heavy handed and you're not gonna have big blocky brows that look funny. Cause this color can get dark. This is medium. This color can get dark. I'll show you. So here's a nice firm line, but if you're going super light, it's not the same. So blending it in. Hi, Kirsten. Getting the tail a little bit. I go a little darker on the tail, I will say. Just with that little extra definition. And you're just kind of filling in wherever there might be small gaps. But Lord, I need to sit down one day and do my brows. I keep saying I'm gonna do it and I don't, but I'm like, I need to. And then if you feel like you went too heavy, take the spoolie and just comb through. And this lightens them up just enough, okay? So that's how you wanna do your brows. You wanna start off light and go heavier a little bit by doing more layers. You don't wanna start off super heavy. Next up, we're going to do a little bit of bronzer just to warm up this look a little bit because our eye color is pretty warm. So we're going to use our bronzer in Malibu. I'm going right underneath our cheekbone here. Kind of curving upward on our forehead, along our jawline, and down our neck. This is Contouring 101 for your now, I don't want to say for dummies. This is Contouring 101 for newbies. How about that? We'll say it for newbies. And I'll show you guys. So this side of my face is contoured. You guys can see some more definition to my cheeks. This side is not. It's a little flatter looking. So it's a little flat. This side has more of the contour going on to show more definition. So this is easy. When you're doing this, you want to go in a 3 or an E shape. So you're going from... The outer part of your face down through your cheekbone and then back through under your jawline. Hi, Nicole. So this is like contouring 101. And if you're not sure where underneath your cheekbone is, fishy face, suck in your cheeks. Hi, Sandy. So you want to suck in your cheeks. And that helps you figure it out. Again, back up top jawline and down our neck and this warms it all up 
if you're someone who says, oh, I only wear bronzer, I only wear, you know, light, um, if you only wear bronzer, this is also how you should be applying it, whether you're doing foundation or not. Because applying it too much to your cheeks, it sinks your cheeks in. You want that definition. Um, that's what's trending right now. So that definition of showing your cheekbones off is really in right now. So that's how you want to do that. That's why contouring is a big thing right now. So you want to still place your bronzer on those parts, even if that's the only thing that you do, still place your bronzer there. And then we'll do our nose. So I'm taking a smaller brush and going up the sides of my nose into my brows just a little bit. It's a little heavy, but we can fix it. Again, same side here. If it's too heavy, take a normal brush and feather it out. Like that. Super easy. All right, then another thing that's really popular right now is highlight. Everyone is so into highlight. Highlight, highlight, highlight. I love highlight. So I'm never going to knock it. <laughs> Highlight's my jam. Um, if you're using a cream highlighter, definitely do it before you place any powder on your face. So you want to work from cream to powder. You never want to work from powder to cream. Working from powder to cream congeals all the makeup and it gets it all sticky and tacky and it's not cute. Um, it starts clumping up on you. So you always want to work cream to powder. Okay? So we're going to do, let's see what I got here. Because I did apply bronzer powder. Now this is where it gets tricky. I applied bronzer powder, but I didn't really apply it on here. But our liquid foundation does dry to a powdery finish, so I still try to keep to a powder when I do my highlight. I'm trying to decide if I want to do a unique powder or if I don't. I don't know. I'm trying to see what's closest to me because my stuff is a mess. I got to clean it up because I got a ton of weddings booked up all of a sudden this weekend. I was like sitting there at work and I got all these messages like, can you do my makeup, can you do my makeup, can you do my makeup? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I have a whole ton of lists, which is great. I love it. But now I gotta like clean up my stuff. So, hi Cassie. So now I gotta clean everything up and get it ready. Um, all right, so I'm not finding my normal, my unique highlighter. So we're gonna just use the Aurora palette. I love the Aurora palette. I love it. I love this one. We're going to use Eclipse to stick to this like bronzy gold theme. So right on the top part of our cheekbones. Right on the top part of our cheekbones. Down our nose a little bit. And a little bit under our brows. I'm just kind of like brushing through it. And it's hitting the brows where I want it to. Okay? So that's a big one. Next, let's go into lashes because we haven't talked about that yet. So, if you guys saw my post yesterday, <clears throat> I am 334 mascaras away from the Bahamas. And I say 334 because they announced double points for the rest of this month. So if I sell 334 by the end of this month, I have this trip. I have the cruise. I'm done. I'm good. Golden. Also, it would get me to green status, which would be awesome. So I have a few specials going on. If you want more info on them, let me know. But I have a few specials going on. That way, um, it helps me get to the Bahamas. Because who doesn't want to go on a free trip? So I'm earning that. Um, two years ago, I earned the trip to Punta Cana. Hi, Rachel. Two years ago, I earned the trip to Punta Cana. Last year, I earned the trip to Cancun. I can't break the cycle now. I have to do it. <laughs> I have to earn this trip. So... Gotta get there. So we're going to use our 4D mascara. And I'm actually only going to do one eye. So I'm only doing one eye. Because I kind of need to do some pictures that I haven't done in a while. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to do... I don't know which eye I want to do. Let's do this one. So I'm going to do my one eye. So I'm going to curl it. When you curl, don't slam down on it. Hello! Don't slam down on it. Be gentle. It's okay. You're not hurting them. Like, if you're slamming down on them, that's why your lashes aren't growing. All right, so then we're going to take our 40. This is running low on me. Usually your mascara should last you three months. If it is lasting you a shorter amount of time, you're using it more. And if you're not using it a lot, 
it's um, gonna last you a little longer, but usually about three months. This is running low on me. Excuse me, and I can tell it's running low because when I take it out, I don't have to scrape off excess. I do have to redip it though. All right, so we're gonna wiggle and roll, y'all. So I'm wiggling at the base and rolling upward. Wiggle at the base and roll upward. Why are you rolling upward? You're rolling upward because what it's doing is releasing and sealing in the fibers at the same time. So instead of having to go back and forth like 3D, it's all in one. It's just a little bit of an extra motion. So it's just a little bit of whoop, little twist. I do have a special going on right now on our mascaras. Cause hi, like I said, I want this trip. <laughs> so if you want more info on them, just say pineapple below, okay? Say pineapple below for that little extra deal I got going on. So rolling and pulling straight up. So I'm gonna redip because I want a little bit extra. Like I said, this one's running low. I do have more upstairs. <laughs> so again, I'm gonna, but I'm going from the from the middle of my lashes now. Again, still pulling straight up. And I'm squinting a little bit because it's helping pull on my lashes to really get them to go straight up. Like that. Okay, so this is 4D. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to let it dry a little bit. I got a little bit on the lid of my eye. If that happens so you don't mess up the rest of your eye makeup, take a plain spoolie. And once it's dry, just work it away slowly. This doesn't mess up the rest of your eye makeup, but it still keeps it nice and clean, okay? So you're able to clean it up. Hang on. Oh, I'm getting to the point where if things fall on the ground, they're dead to me, and I'm trying not to do that. I'm just so tired. Six more weeks. Well, six to eight more weeks, depending on how she wants to be. And I'm gonna do one more layer, quick. Again, just the tips. I'm gonna hit the bottom layers. Like that. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. While it's dry, I'm gonna do my lips. So again, I'm only doing the one eye because I gotta do some pictures after. So I'm only doing the one eye, but you can build on this the more you want to add to it you can so you can build on it it's not just a one and done what i also like to do is i like to seal it off with a little bit of extra epic mascara just for a little extra curl a little extra length and it seals it in so i know that it's going to stay so i like to do a little extra epic on the one eye well on both eyes because <laughs> i'm only doing one eye for this one um that way i'm able to get that extra all right so lips i need something hydrating because my lips are really chapped. So we're gonna do a liner and a gloss, I think. That's what we're gonna do. So, for liner, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, here we go. I know what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm gonna use Prudent Lip Liner. I'm gonna sharpen it up just to give it a nice firm tip. So using Prudent Liner, and again, if you've never seen our lip liners, I just drew on the back of my hand here. This is also the brow liner. It's not moving. It's going to last you. So we're going to use Prudent. And we're chasing, tracing around our lips. And filling in a little bit. We're filling in because the, we're going to do a clear, not a clear gloss, but a pretty clear gloss. So I want it to be able to like show up a little bit more. But this is also going to prevent any bleeding from happening. Like if you're a lipstick wearer and you feel like it's bleeding. And this is going to prevent that. All 
excuse me, also I just had tacos, so I'm like, Wr. so also <laughs> you wanna make sure you're getting into those quarters. That's why you want a nice um, strong tip on your liner. All right, so we filled in a little bit and I'll show you, this isn't moving, staying put, staying right where it should be. And we're gonna do probably my favorite nude lip gloss. This one is Lunar. So it is a really, really pretty gold shimmer. Applying that over top. Hi, Nicole. So we're applying that over top. It's a really pretty nude shimmer. This is called Lunar in our lucrative lip glosses. And really cute, it comes with a small little mirror on the back. It comes with a cute little mirror. All right, so now that my lashes are dry, now I'm gonna show you the next step. So the next step is I'm gonna comb through them. And what this comb does is if you're someone like me whose lashes no matter what you do they stick together you know you feel like they're always clumping this stuff do, our products don't clump but my lashes are just so close together that's what they do take our lash comb we do sell one of these our lash comb and you're going to take this um comb side and you're just going to go through your lashes and what it's going to do is separate them so they're not just like and here are my lashes it's going to be more like this and they're open So you're just gonna gently comb through them. What this is, is it's opening it up more. There we go. So you're combing through them so then they're lifted up a little bit more. Plus if you're pulling straight up, it's gonna help lift them up a little bit more. All right? So that's what you wanna do. Um, Spray yourself down. It's a nice like glowing goddess kind of look. <laughs> all right, so that is our look for tonight. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know. Again, I am 334 mascaras away from the earning this trip. Um, the qualifying period is until the end of September, but if I can earn it now, it'd be like, ah, so <laughs> it'd be really great. Also, cause everyone knows end of the month is like our crunch time and I am going to maybe be pushing a baby out at the end of September. Who knows? Babies do first week of October. So I'm taking bets now on when everyone thinks I'm going to pop. Cause I have no clue. I've had people tell me I'm going to go a month early. I've had people tell me that they think I'm going to be late. I don't know. She's going to come out when she wants to come out. So, can't determine that. But, otherwise, um, so I hope you guys can help me reach this goal. It would be really, really special and important to me. And I'm always appreciative of those who help me get there. So, let's do this. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I will take some pictures and I will post the name of all those colors in there <laughs> underneath the comments below. Thank you guys. Bye.